Hello lovelies, welcome back, welcome to my portable gas oven review, oh I'm so excited mate, alright Devante, portable gas oven, I got the one that's $278, I got it from Kogan and I got it on Afterpay because I couldn't afford that straight away, so with Afterpay your first payment's got to be in the bank, it divides it up in four, you paid it off in six weeks but you get your uh, things sent to you straight away. It's just brilliant for people who can't afford stuff straight away So this come in this huge box and it was really heavy. It weighs 17 kilos So I was already impressed before I took it out. Are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, mate. Look at this beautiful little sexy oven oh, I am so excited now if this works really well, this will change the way I cook when I'm camping forever. So in summer in South Australia, you can't have any fires at all. You can't even have heat beads. So with something gorgeous like this, I should be able to cook anything I want. And in winter when it's too wet and you can't even get dry wood, just pull out your gas oven. All right, so it's a decent size, but I think it's definitely worth the um, space in your car if it works really good. Now. I open the top up and pull these out. These just like clip in and out. They're your little windbreakers. Look how gorgeous these tops are. My God. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, did I mention how sexy this is? Okay, you come down and there's our handles. All right, so we've got the two stove tops and the oven. And then we get down to the oven and the first thing is this grasp handle it's got on here. So we use this to open and close it with. Just move back a bit. All right, because apparently the handle gets really hot. Now from what I can tell, the only thing that gets really hot on it is the back of the oven. The oven itself, I can't believe the size of it. I'm absolutely wrapped. So the thing, first things first. The first thing I don't like is the temperature gauge. It sits in between these two shells. Now if I wanted to cook a roast... I can't have it sitting there because I'm going to take the top shelf out. Now, the thing I like about these shelves too is see how I've got one going that way where it's deeper and I've got one going that way where it's higher. So you can take them either way. So if I was to cook a roast, I would turn it up so it's a deep one there. And, I mean, look how much space I can get for a roast in there. I mean, I, I couldn't get a huge roast in there, but, I mean, I could definitely do a couple of chooks or something. So I'm going to go inside in a minute and grab all my oven trays and see what fits so I can tell you what sort of oven trays fit in there as well. Now, when it comes to this, it's in Fahrenheit and Celsius, which is great. So what I thought I might do is because I can't just sit it in there when, I mean, I might be able to just, no, you couldn't sit it on the bottom because it wouldn't give the right temperature. So what I'm going to do first is once I get Harley to set it all up for me with the gas thing, is I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to work out where 180 degrees is. Once I've worked that out, I'm just going to mark it on my thing, um, whichever one's the oven one i'm going to mark it on there and then it, it should be able to go from there turn it up a little bit for 200 or down a bit for 160 you know what i mean so that's not too bad of a thing we can overcome that by doing that so yeah if i take that out pull one of the shelves out oh i just think this is so good i just can't wait put it in that way now i mean look at that that is a lot of room to get a roast in there like it really is impressive all right now i've got all my oven trays now I just want to say they're all very well loved, so excuse the condition of them. Okay, this is a big size cookie tray. It just doesn't fit. Just. Alright, it's a normal standard size cookie tray. Now I've got an old school oven tray. This is the biggest one I've got. And it doesn't fit just. And that's the biggest one I've got. Now, these next two I've bought from... Uh, big W, so this is a deep one, but it's a bit smaller. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Door won't close. That one's no good. Now, the last one I've got is one of the smallest oven trays that Big W had. Okay, it's reasonably deep still, it's just smaller. Ha ah, ha ha. Look at that. You beauty. Now, I can stick decent sized roast in that, so I'm absolutely wrapped. Okay, so the smaller oven tray is the one you want. Now, I couldn't see you fitting much past a big chook in it, but we'll see. Most roast, well, you're obviously not going to get a huge one in there, but I mean, come on, that's awesome. All right, so that's the tray I'm going to have to use for everything. All right, so I went in and grabbed my biggest cake tin, which is a 23 centimeter tin, and it fits in there, no problems. Check this out, look, that's 
just brilliant. I wonder if I can put the other shelf on top. Oh yeah, this is my outdoor area. So look at that, see that light I got? It's pretty cool, isn't it? It was a Christmas decoration, it's all LED lights. I got that from Kogan for $69, and it works absolutely brilliant at night because it's all full of LED lights. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Cute as. All right. Now, if I turn that one up that way. Look at that. So I put that one up the other way around. See how you're going to both like that. And check that out. Be a bit fiddly, but you got you can fit that in there and a little tray on top. I mean, that is in itself pretty, pretty impressive. Okay, so I measured this. So I measured this from the actual edge here to the other edge there, and it was 36 centimeters. And the width that way, the other way, was 24 centimeters. So that might help you if you want to go out and get yourself some trays that fit in there. Oh, I just can't believe that. That's just an awesome size. First thing you have to do is you got to open up your oven and you've got to take this bottom tray out, okay? So there's no tray in there when we first do it. So all he did was go around here. He screwed that into there properly. And then look, you can get a table reasonably high. Look at this. This table's pretty high up. And the gas bottles down here with still some leeway. So that's awesome. So it does not matter what size table you got. It's it's huge. All right. And then he's connected it all properly. So the first time we do it, so when we turn the gas bottle on. So have you turned that on yet? All right, do you want to turn that on? All this is all these are turned off for now. Gotta make sure they're turned off first. Yeah. Alright, so he's gonna turn the gas bottle on full. Now Again, oven stove. All right, so this is a stove one. So we took, yeah, and hold. press and hold. Keep holding till it lights. Keep holding. Oh, that's the stove top. Look at this. That's high, and you got to turn it down for low. Okay, and that's on low. Same thing for this. All right, so just turn it off by turning it off. Turn it all the way around. And it's off. Now, where's the oven? Oven's the middle one. Same oh, thing. oven's the middle one. Press and hold. Press it, hold in. Keep holding, and then let go. And then let go. And at the moment it's on high and then that's on low so i'm going to guess we'll do my guesswork and put it in the middle so i'm going to put that in the middle and see what temperature it goes to all right so now that that's on we get our our base thing and we put that in and then we put our tray in all right so i'm just going to put it in uh this way because i'm only just putting one tray in Oh no, I'm going to have to put the two in to work out the, um, right, I'll have to put the two in, I can't remember which way I did it now. No, one way was too small for it and the other way was too big. Alright. Alright, we'll sit that in there. Alright, so I'll put it on halfway. We'll close her up. Now how do I know that's still going and it hasn't burnt, oh yeah, I can see it down there, it's still going. All right, we'll close it up. So we've got gale force winds outside. That's why I'm doing it all in here today. I wanted to do it in the wind, but not this windy. So it should be good in here. It's still windy in here, just not like outside. All right, that took me forever to work out. So basically halfway there is 200 degrees. So if you want it on around 200, you put it halfway. If you, it just slowly creeps up. So I've got these Thai sausage rolls we're gonna put in now. Now these are the homemade ones. At the end of the video, I will um, put the video up with the recipe and everything for you if you wanna try and put them in. You obviously lose a little bit of a heat, but it seems to, I pulled it open a couple of times just to see, and it seemed to um, go back up reasonably quick. All right, in they go. I'm gonna go set a timer for 25 minutes. I love the way you can see in like that. So you're not losing heat by opening it all the time. Oh, oh, oh do you sis to pull it down? Oh my God, mate. Get me tea towel. This is amazing. <laughs> so it only took an extra eight minutes. Look at that, that's incredible. Oh yeah, baby. All right, we'll whack them up there. Now, I'm gonna whack in the uh, white wings brownies, chocolate brownies, but I wanna give them a go on the top shelf. So I'll whack them in the top shelf. Just close that back up. Sorry, I'm not a professional at this. We're just doing it how I would normally. All right, we'll close that up. 
Now, they, the sausage rolls were done at 200 degrees. So I'm just going to turn these down just a fraction under halfway. All right, because you don't want things too high and burn them. So that's 180 now, and it's supposed to be for 30 to 35 minutes. So we'll see how we go. All right, I flicked them over, and that's what they look like underneath. <laughs> so my suggestion is put them on the top shelf, and hopefully that will not happen. So I turn it down a bit. I probably should have let it cool down first before I put the next thing in. So these are almost done at the right at the right amount of time but what i've noticed is on this in where low is the gauge still goes look way past low so i don't know if that's something to do with the way they've done it or not so i have decided that everything even the temperature gauge that you put in there doesn't make a difference so i reckon cook everything on low okay as you can see the corners are burnt but i believe that's because i had the oven up so hot still when i took the sausage rolls out so uh, my conclusion is that you cook on the lowest possible heat and it should be fantastic. I'm going to have to give something else a go, aren't I? Because that's what this was all about. So when we turn it off, we turn it off here till it clicks. And then we go around and make sure you always turn the gas bottle off. I forgot which way it goes. I thought he said anti-clockwise. Close that way, yeah. All right, and always turn your bottle off when you're not using it. Mate, all right. I made another brownie on low. I absolutely spat the dummy. The brownie went in the bin. I mean, it's not just burnt. They're like burnt three quarters of the way up. And right up until the end, it still wasn't cooked properly in the middle. Like, ugh. So absolutely no good for baking. Anyway, I've got no money or no more food to burn. So my conclusion is that it's absolutely shit. If it wasn't so expensive, I'm telling you right now, I would have put an axe through it on a video. <laughs> um, so anyway, there's our lesson learnt there. If it says made in China and it looks too good to be true, it probably bloody is. I'm so disappointed. I was so happy in that. So if there's anyone out there that makes an Australian made camp oven, my post office box address is down below. Um, I don't want any money to advertise it for you. I just want something that works and uh, maybe a big ass discount for my subscribers would be great. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'm, what a bummer, eh? Now, that's just my personal opinion. If you guys want to buy one and burn your own stuff, do you know what I mean? Absolutely feel free to. But yeah, I'm hell disappointed. I'm going to absolutely try and send it back and hope that it doesn't cost me a fortune in postage to do it. Um, even if it does, I have to, because, like, that's a lot of money to spend. hope that, you know, all the dimensions that I gave you and how to do it all and that somehow might help if you've got one or you want to get one anyway. Maybe try a different brand, I don't know. But um, even the, the thermostat thingy or whatever was just completely out. Like, even when I adjusted the, the level of the... I, I spent hours on it. Even if I adjusted the level on the actual thing... It still wouldn't have mattered. That thermostat was right out, like absolutely right out. So yeah, that really sucked. Um, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome day. Now I've got what oh, I don't know. Gale force winds for the next five days, or something like. I, I just it's just my luck at the minute. I want to get down the river, you know, cooking and that, and I just can't. So um, yeah, we're probably going to visit my kitchen bench and maybe do a few things out on the barbie. But um, that's what we're going to be doing over the next week or so. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys really, really soon. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.